Could Tyson have survived and even thrived in that earlier era? So I was watching this particular interview of boxing legend Larry Holmes saying that Mike Tyson in his prime would not last against his era of heavyweights from the early to 1970s. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that Mike Tyson knocked him out later in his career, but hindsight is always 2020. But let's address it then. What do you think that a prime Mike Tyson's record would be against a prime Ken Norton, a prime Joe Frazier, a prime George Foreman, and a prime Muhammad Ali? Do you think it will be 4-0, he'd beat them all? 3-1, 2-2, 1-3, or he'd lose every single one of them? Tyson versus Joe Frazier. I think this would probably be the closest one because their styles are similar. This one would come down to who's got the better chin and whose stamina is better. A lot of y'all might get mad at me for saying this, but I think that Tyson barely wins this one. So, one, Tyson versus George Foreman. The fight that almost happened in the early 1990s, but didn't. And the only reason why it didn't happen is because Mike Tyson was serving a six-year jail sentence at the time. And George Foreman, while he wasn't in his prime anymore, was on the comeback trail. I would say that Tyson would beat the 40-year-old George Foreman, but he would not beat George Foreman in his prime. So, one to Tyson versus Ken Norton. Now, Ken Norton is probably the most balanced and well-rounded boxer on this list as far as fundamental skills. That and the fact that he has a hell of a jab and he's taller than Mike Tyson. And not to mention he has an iron chin too. But the only thing that I have a problem with is can Ken Norton's pure athleticism stand up against Mike Tyson's aggression? I think that he would eventually end up wearing Ken Norton down. Maybe a late stoppage. So... 2-1 Tyson. And last but not least, the greatest of all time himself, Muhammad Ali. Now, stylistically, this is a horrible, horrible matchup for Mike Tyson because Muhammad Ali is four inches taller and he has a reach of 76 inches, I believe. That kind of height and reach advantage would frustrate Mike Tyson all night long. He managed to get it to work in the fight against Joe Frazier, but even Joe gave him fits. But me personally, I would have to give the edge to Muhammad Ali in this one because he would frustrate Mike Tyson with his jab all night long and force Mike Tyson into making mistakes. But anyway, guys, boxing fans, sports fans, comment what you think that Mike Tyson's record would be against all four of these in their prime.